We're happy to welcome you to our community garden and hope that you'll settle in well. As you might have heard, this is a difficult time for us. Robin, who organized and cared for the community garden, was sadly taken from us too soon. We want to honor their memory. That's why we're looking for someone new to take the reins and bring some life back to this community garden. Everyone is super excited to meet you. Anyway, this is the address for the garden. I'll meet you there to get you up and running. I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I know I speak for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what you do. Thanks, Jasmine. Heya, I'm Jasmine. It's so great to finally meet you. Thanks a bunch for stepping up and volunteering. This garden really means a lot to us. Feel free to have a look around. The garden's not going anywhere. Hey, thank you for joining me for Garden Life Simulator. We got to play this on one of the next fests and I absolutely endured it so much. And I'm glad to see that it is. Uh, it's out. <laughs> As you can see, you've got your work cut out for you. I wanted to come by myself, but I've just been so busy. But now you're here, and you can look after the garden properly. And I reckon you're going to do great. I uh, it did the let best me starting point is probably the weeds. You can rip them straight out of the ground. You should buy a sickle, makes it much faster. A few weeds in the garden might keep pests away from your plants but too many, and all they'll do is steal water. It's a fine balance. Always something to keep you on your toes. Uh, it did let me start off from where I left off from that next demo that we played, but I'm starting fresh. <laughs> it's been so long since I played that demo, I couldn't, I don't remember what it was about. The compost bin is a great way to make weeds, leaf piles, and plant cuttings more useful. Leave them in here long enough and they'll turn into compost you can feed to your plants. That'll make the plants grow faster, which basically means a quick way to a prettier garden. Okay. Last bit of cleanup. Here's a shovel to get rid of all the dead plants. It's a shame none of the plants made it, but their seeds should still be salvageable. Deals. Look at that greenhouse over there. I see you've brought a rucksack with you, too. Smart. I don't think I ever saw Robin without theirs. They're great for just throwing anything and everything inside. so far. I think there's enough room to start planting now. Seeds need a little bit of room to be able to grow properly. Some more than others. Otherwise, you can plant them anywhere. I've left Robin's plant book in the shed, too. If you're ever unsure what a plant needs, you can probably find it there. 
Place a bench, set up a garden stall, start out a garden hose, have the bridge rebuilt, have rubble cleared away, open the greenhouse, complete the plant book, help Jasmine with the pavilion. I hear purring. Where's the purring? There's not an easier way to look through this. Here's the purring. Oh, he's... Oh. One more. I know, I know. <laughs> Amazing! So here is your watering can. It's a little small, but it'll work for now. Every seed you plant will need some water to get it going, then need watering regularly. Underwatered plants will be brown, crispy, and they'll droop a bit too, and the ground around them will be discolored. Look at how many fish are in this river. Look at this! Look at how great the garden looks already! You're a natural! I think that's enough for one day. There's no rush with any of this. You should have time to explore anyway. Just keep an eye on the time. Make sure to get some rest at the end of the day. Remember, in gardening, patience is key. Sometimes all you can do is wait as your plants grow and flourish. If you want, just take the bus home. I won't be able to meet you tomorrow, but I'll write you a postcard. Check the post box when you get here in the morning. See ya. Oops, sorry, didn't mean to cut her off. Sorry, Lee. You can't drag and drop. It's click and then click where you want it to go. Oh. Interesting. <laughs> I thought. Alright, well, let's go home. For the tutorial's instructions. Sorry I can't be there today. I've got to catch up with some weeding planning. I'm making a gift for my fiancé, Marcus. You'll meet him soon, don't worry. I need some daffodils for it, and you'll need a pair of pruning shears to cut them. When you cut the daffodils, bring them to the drop box outside the garden by the fence, and I'll pick them up tomorrow morning. Alright, have a great day, and thanks, Jazz. Oh, hello there, dearie. 
You must be the new gardener. I'm Leslie. I run the gardening shop in the village square. Oh, but I see you got Jasmine's postcard. That's something Robin suggested, sending postcards to make requests. <sighs> they always wanted the garden to help us all out, bless them. It's secateurs you need. Well, I've got them in the shop, so you should pop by. I always have a few tools you can have. Then just snip away at a plant's flower to get flower cuttings. Or prune the stems to get stem cuttings for compost. And, and don't worry, the flowers can always grow back. Look at the greenhouse. It's got rainbow uh, stained glass. Head to town. This is the village. Isn't it lovely? That's my shop there, Leslie's. You'll find all sorts of useful things for the garden there. And Robin and Jasmine's little pavilion project is through that archway to the right. But that's closed for now. Such a shame what happened. Anyway, take a look around. I'll make sure to make the secateurs available for you. What did she call them? Oh, which by the way, look, we got a, a frog. There's a cat over there. Oh, it was a sweet little meow. Okay, now and not so much. <laughs> Oh, lovely to see you again, dearie. How much money do we have? Take a look around. Uh, cuteness. Oh, there's that <laughs> invisible wall. So pretty. I remember being in love with this during uh, Next Fest as well. We're back. I guess I didn't really need to put the tools away. Snip plant, uh, prune your plant for the first time. Oh, excellent. You'll be a champion pruner in no time. You should put them in that red box by the fence. That's Robin's drop box. 
If someone sends you a postcard, you can always put what they've requested in there in exchange for the gift they've left you. All part of Robin's plan to make this a place for the community. garden is truly complete without beautiful decorations. And while you were away, I found a little something to kickstart your collection. Place them wherever you like, dearie. They'll instantly spruce the place up. And if... Oops. Uh... <laughs> There we go. Well, this was such fun. It was nice to be out of the shop for a bit. Oh, but it was lovely to meet you, dearie. You've done some excellent work so far. Robin would be very proud of that, I've no doubt. You have fun for the rest of the day. Cheerio. I love that it's voice acted. There's a, it's a high quality game. It did release with a DLC and supporter pack and I did pick those up as well. I bought the the deluxe edition. Because I really like the game. wander off and put done look at how just beautiful the game is i mean let's just look at the sky blocks it's got this fun like i don't know acrylic paint but also watercolor effect that's happening i just i love it i love it not enough money blooms a soda i got flowers well, stickers. All right, let's go. I think that's Jasmine, actually. I don't think we... Oh, oh. Good morning. I'm Laurie, Robin's sister. Jasmine told me you started a couple of days ago and said I should drop by. You've done an amazing job so far. It's a bit strange seeing someone else working here than them, but... I'll get used to it. <laughs> That's the point. Anyway, I was wondering. Something Robin was looking into was adding some climbing plants. Would you, please? Here's something for you to practice with. Okay. I bought some ivy seeds too, and there might be some still in the shed, I suppose. <sighs> Robin said climbers can be a bit tricky. You have to plant them very close to an object for them to take. I'm sure you'll get there. You seem to have done everything else very well up to this point. I think it's fine. 
But maybe not. It does seem to change color. Okay, so we gotta find the seeds real quick. Uh, open seed storage. blind. I really appreciate you doing this. The ivy, specifically. Everything else, too. Please, take this. Robin wanted to do so much with this garden. I'm glad someone else gets to now. I might not quite be there yet, but I really hope that seeing it all come together will help me. Sorry. Anyway, I'm going to head off. I hope you have a good day here. Plenty to do, after all. You know, this is, this is Ivy here. <laughs> uh, all right, we should, let's see if we can go buy a trellis real quick. Allow me to introduce you to Letha. Oh, she doesn't say much. I'm just doomed. I'm not gonna buy a picket fence just to see you next time, dearie. You bet. Like, look, that like I don't know. I just I love it. I love this game so much. Oh look. Hello. Hi. You're so pretty. We need to go back to the crown. Uh, okay. Hi there, the flower store has been making, uh, has asked us to make up a birthday bouquet for someone in the village. Do you think you would be able to bear some daffodils, tulips, and roses for us? about the mess. Come on in. Don't worry, I'm friendly. <laughs> I hope that's reassuring. Oh, oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting a ghost Robin. I'm Robin. I didn't say anything before because, well, I thought it might be a bit overwhelming. And the others don't know I'm still here. I'm not really sure how they'd take it. But I wanted to tell you, this garden already looks great. I'm really impressed and very grateful. If you don't mind, could you go into the shed, please, when you've got a moment? Okay. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that.
that to-do list between the two tables, underneath the clock? That's mine. When I finally got this garden, I wanted it to be somewhere for the entire community. There are some great people here who deserve somewhere to reflect and relax for a while. And, obviously, I never managed to do it all. Now, I don't want to put you under any pressure. This is your garden now. But I would really appreciate it if you could finish the list for me. But that's enough nagging from me today. <laughs> we'll pick this up again when you're back in tomorrow. It's already night time. Ow. So if it's I raining. was thinking, if anyone knows anyone who can build you a stall, it's probably Leslie. The bench I wanted to put in was for her as much as for anyone else. She always works so hard and likes to come by in the evenings. It would be nice for her to have somewhere to sit. Maybe if you do that for her, she'll ask one of her customers to build a garden stall for you. Oh, there's a crafting table on the right in the shed. With some creativity, I'm sure you can find a way to build a bench from scratch. It can't be that hard, can it? There's a street party coming up that we've been asked to put together some uh, bouquets for. Since it's local, we thought it might be a nice idea for some of the flowers to come from the garden. I'd like to add a spot of color to my apartment. Could really use it. Do you think you could uh, get me some rose and poppies? As you can see, the weather's finally turned. Oh, gardening across different kinds of weather can be a little bit tricky. Plants react to different weathers differently. Rain is good. That means you don't need to water your plants. It's all in the book I kept. If you want to check it out. Oh, lovely. I've just spotted some seeds that are ready to pick. No need for a tool. You can do that by hand. Finding seeds can be a little tricky sometimes. So keep an eye out for those plants that are positively glowing. Sometimes the plants glow with a different colour. That means you've got a new colored seed. Tuck these away for right now. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. 
Uh, I need yellow sunflowers and red poppies. Yellow sunflowers and red poppies. All right, let's see what we can do. to our guest. Uh, sunflowers, and what was the other thing I already forgot? Oh no. Uh, Poppies, that was the other one. Okay. Oh, don't mind Letha. She's in no mood today. Lovely to see you. Oh, don't mind the clutter. Come on in. Rocks. Not rocks. That enough? Uh... I'm blind. I feel like I'm blind. Uh... a little too dark. I might have to come back. I'm also being blind and don't see where else.
Oh, turns out it's not that hard. Well done. The squirrels are a particularly excellent touch. You should go and find Leslie in the village and tell her. She'll love it. It's not letting me turn it, so there we go. <laughs> we'll trick the system. I hate to tell you, it looks like you've developed a pest problem. Look for the cloud of insects buzzing around the plant. Pests can be removed with a bug sprayer. Maybe Leslie has one in her shop. I knew that was coming Just up. Just spray it on an infested plant before the pests can kill it. That will shoo them away. Oh, but don't forget, some weeds can draw pests away too. That might help you manage them well. was a bit rough last night. Uh, I want to do something drawing. I want to do some drawing just to get it out of my own head. Do you think you could give me some white uh, hellebores to use for reference, please? I'm working on the fantasy version of the woods where Robin and I first found them. Thanks, Lori. Uh, rose cuttings? All right. hard to pick. <laughs> Alright, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. That's not what I wanted at all. I 
there a place to put the trimming? Particularly. really is just a chill game like there's low expectations nobody cares Run to the square and pick up some flowers. Oh, hello, dearie. I hope you're having a pleasant day. Thank you so much for putting a bench in the garden. I can't wait to sit and watch the world go by. Hmm? Oh, don't you worry about how I know. Word travels quickly around here. Now, I should do something to thank you. You want to put up a stall to sell things from the garden? I think I can arrange that. One of my customers is a carpenter. Tell you what, he came in recently asking for some bouquets for his sister's birthday. Uh, now the garden is up and running again, perhaps you could make them for him. A favor for a favor is a much nicer exchange than money, don't you think? Here is a list of what he asked me for. Set them in the drop box and I'll pass them on to him. And make sure the favor is returned. Here's a few seeds to get you started. You can always grab more from my shop if you'd like. Thanks, lady. What did she give me? Probably everything that I came for. <laughs> Let's head back.
Okay. Part of me wants to call it done here, but I, I want to do one more day. We're going to do one more day. I'm a bit swamped with tax and couldn't uh, resist reaching out to you. Any chance you could spare some peonies from your garden? I want to surprise a friend of mine who absolutely adores them. Goodness. Uh, sunflower. I got them all, didn't I? So difficult in cutting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm aiming the shears at the plant, but it's cutting everything but that. Kind of point, hope, and pray, I guess.
Uh, it only makes sense that I enjoy a game like this as far as planting flowers, because in real life, I am not a green thumb. I have no patience for it. Uh, really bad. <laughs> In fact, if you were to tell my mother that I am playing this game, she would laugh so hard. I have no memory, so trying to remember what, uh, a red rose bouquet, five of them. Oh my gosh, so many cuttings. Really? Oh. A little hard to get it to do this. Stop. Can you please get this plant? There we go. Can I partially deliver? Oh, wait. Deliver that one. No, you can't partially deliver. Well, that's a bit of a pain. See a lot of note taking in my future. Oh, okay, that was the end of the day. All right, I'm gonna call it done here. 
Uh, I'll, I'll at least do another episode, if not more. If you guys want to see more, I would definitely bring you more. I'm personally greatly enjoying this. <laughs> All right. Thanks for keeping me company, and I'll be back with another episode.